The 14-year-old student seen in this photo on a stretcher after someone shot him in the ankle Tuesday afternoon in front of Tottenville High School on Staten Island. Freshman Sophia Sternfeld says students heard several shots just before 2 p.m. on Luton Avenue, right outside the school, and panicked. People started brushing out from the back, telling us to get down and everything, and I, we were just like, what's going on? Police confirm a group of five male suspects who are still on the loose opened fire in the victim's direction. Detectives are describing this as an isolated incident and a possible case of mistaken identity. Classmates describe the 14-year-old victim as a, quote, good kid and a JV member of the football team. The two shooters thought he looked like the person that they wanted, and it really wasn't. The person he was with got enough time to get under the car to hide, and tripped and didn't. That's why he got shot. Staten Island Borough President Vito Fasella later suggested the shooting may have been the result of a dispute that started somewhere else on Staten Island. Fasella also pointed to what he believes is a larger societal issue. That when you have a situation where anybody can do whatever they want and there's no consequences, things like this happen. No community is immune to gun violence. Mona Davids, co-founder of the New York City School Safety Coalition, says unarmed school safety agents need more help. We need that mobile task force of NYPD police officers outside of the schools to ensure that incidents like this do not happen. For freshman Sophia Sternfeld, the city's latest shooting, this time right outside her school, was an unwelcomed wake-up call. I always see it on the news. I'm like, I always, everyone thinks like it's never going to happen to us. And like today, like a regular day, it happened. We should be clear, students are only speculating that the victim was the unintended target. That has not been confirmed, and police are simply investigating that scenario. The suspects, again, still on the loose. On Staten Island, Jay Dow, Pix 11 News.